You are royal people. You probably be running the earth, but you paying taxes to slaves that's running the earth. This matrix ain't no joke, man. And then the slaves plan to, plan to brand you forever with the mark of the beast, the microchip. Saying you belong to him forever. And a lot of you nigga Latinos and Native Americans gonna sit there and take that and sell your soul and so-called give up your birthright and the most high gonna destroy you. Cause he ain't got no, he ain't got no, he ain't got no use for you, man. Just like Esau did, man. Sold his birthright to Jacob. You know? That's what two-thirds of nigga Latinos and Native Americans gonna do. Oh, I want to be a slave. Your birthright is to rule the earth forever, but you're going to sell your birthright and get the microchip so you can be a slave to Esau Edom forever. And that's why the Most High going to cook you, you bonehead. I didn't tell you to do that. I warned you not to do that. But you listen to the devil, the serpent. You let him deceive you. That's your fault. So, stay in the oven and get cooked with thermonuclear destruction. That's how the most high, y'all about to smell shot on this one. You paying homage to Satan. Esau Edom. You take that chip, micro, the mark of the beast, you take that then you letting us know that, hey, you, you're a vessel of Satan. You don't want to be part of me. So you're going to get the same judgment that I'm, that I'm going to give the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth, which is Esau Edom. And you're going to get burnt. Go ahead, bro. It's according to all the iniquities of our fathers, mm -hmm. which departed from the Lord, our power. Mm -hmm. So, so that's why we uh, got history <laughs> on how viciously uh, Esau Edom done us as a people, man, because we departed from our power, man. Y'all about to know shot, man. And when we did that, it was open season on us. Most high, y'all about to know shot like this. Let them idols help you that you worship. And they ain't got us out of this condition yet. <laughs> and Esau Edom still having his way with our people as a nation. And when you pay your taxes, you do pay taxes to slave patrol. Okay? When you pay your taxes, slave patrol is police officer. When you pay your taxes, if you working, and you pay your taxes, personal property taxes too, that get you that way. But you pay into the pension of slave patrol, and slave patrol are pulled right up on you and gun you down. And you done paid into his pension. See? But they are working for the elites, man. They're not set up to protect you like that. They work for the elites, man. Bank family. And they look at y'all, you would like to know the name Mary, as nothing. And according to the scriptures, like it said, our people are cursed. The plague is on our people, man. That's a plague and a curse, man, not to know your nationality, man. That's what it is, man. So go ahead, bro. This is uh, Baruch chapter 3, it's, uh, verse 9. It says, Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. 
How happened it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land, that thou art wax, waxing old? Yeah, Israel is becoming old and weak, man. Look at it. You see? We join to these nations and worshiping their idols. Man, it's like, it's like we as a people, it's like we are a uh, hundred years old, man, with no strength, man. Barely can move your leg. Barely can move around, man. So look, we got plagues on us. We don't know who we are. Hundred years old. Basically dead, man. Walking dead, man. Read it again for me, bro. All right, this is uh, Baruch chapter three, verse nine. Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. Verse 10. How happened how happened it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land, that thou art waxing old in a strange country? Yeah, that's how we wax old, man. By following the customs of the heathens, man. See? When you all you weak, man. You ain't strong, man. You know? Go ahead. That thou art defiled with the dead. See? These people are dead, man. It's the realm of the dead. And Jacob, while Jacob in the realm of the dead, they old and weak and defiled, man. Because of they applying the customs of Babylon, man. Or wherever they are in captivity, man. Weak. Weak. Body, body, body rotten from the inside out, man. Right? And Jake think they in good health. Okay. Diabetes, high blood pressure, gout, heart attack, joint pain. Joint pain. And Jake think they in good health, man. And if it stop hurting, them playing, guess what they give praises to? See the boys here, man. Uber lift on it while you're on that motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? And they'll say, Uber lift? What, what, what are you talking about? Once I call up Uber lift, that means you in the back of a hearse, man. See? So the most I might call up Uber lifts, man. Meaning a hearse, and you're going to be in the back of it playing games like that. You knew we was reading the scriptures, you heard it. Right. But you've done that, drowned out the word. Right. See? <laughs> Go ahead. It's uh, Baruch chapter three, verse 11. It says, that, that thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. See? Thou art counted with them that go down to the grave. And who go down to the grave? The dead. So if you ain't applying these scriptures, the most high look at you like a corpse. You 
dead, man. There ain't no life in you because the scriptures is life. You dead, man. The scriptures is life, man. You dead out here, man. Along with these other nations. Verse 12, thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom. And what's wisdom? The scripture. So if you forsake the fountain of wisdom, which is the scripture, you're dead, man. The most I look at you like a corpse. So you got to remember these scriptures. You got to apply them, man. You got to become that new man, man. You got to put off the old man, man. You can't live the way you used to live, man. You can't allow Satan to get into your mind after the Most High. You got to pray that off, man. After the Most High wake you up to this truth, you got to pray that off so Satan won't uh, cause you to uh, not fear you how about your own shot. See? And you will end up making foolish decisions to get destroyed. So you gotta be reminded of that, you know? So give me what you got, bro. Oh, that you was it, no, uh, uh, Oh, I know what I wanted. I know what I wanted. So even though we in captivity, uh, give me uh, Romans uh, 3 and 31. Romans 10, 3 and 31. All right, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? Question. The Most High forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. So we establish the law, man. Okay? So Paul is speaking that, and it's in the scriptures. When Yahweh Shah comes back, he going to uphold the law. Because Paul was taught by Yahweh Shah. So Paul knew the law was not done away with. So let's go into the law and see uh, uh, one of the laws concerning these other nations. So give me Leviticus uh, 25 and 44. See what we got there. This is a law. This is, this is uh, Leviticus chapter 25, verse 44. It says, Both thy bond men and thy bond maids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are that are round about you, of them shall ye buy bond men bond maids. Slaves. That's a law. See? So that's a law for the nation of Israel. Man. So these nations that's round about us, they're going to be sold, put in slavery. According to the law, man. That's how we're going to get down, man, in the kingdom, man. According to the law. You see, when Yahweh Shah come back, man. And faith is a law, too. Yeah, he broke out. Don't worry about it. I want to be with you. Look at him. Yeah, they all messed up out here today, man. They all messed up, man. You got, you got people out here driving down the wrong side of the street in the oncoming traffic. You got people jumping curves. Back into a fucking car. People trying to find about to back it back into another car. Then you got a guy over there in the Porsche about to run head on to a brick wall. See? All that's going on out here. See? 
It's crazy. I got one bar. Oh, let me uh, let me change this battery, bro. I don't want to turn around and be dead on it. 